This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Tired of missing out on figures or paying scalper prices at toy stores? Then go ahead and visit DJC Collectibles, my sponsor. You can get 10% on anything Transformers, accumulate points, and sometimes score an exclusive figure you thought you'd miss forever. Head over to DJC Collectibles and start saving today. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and I'm back with another tour review and today... Yes! Studio Series 86 Swoop. Uh, 86, 20, 26, is that really just 26 release? Wow. Okay, anyway, Swoop, um, extremely happy, DJC Collectible received those, uh, and I'm filming this today, we're the 24th of June, uh, so happy provincial holiday for the resident of Quebec. Uh, Swoop is a final, you know, addition to my season one. Until uh, they do a, um, a new wind charger, I have all the current version of, I think most of them, uh, you know, mainline versions of uh, the, the season one cast. Uh, so yeah, I'm really happy. Easy, good robot. Couple things. Uh, there's one thing that really bothered me, or I think I fixed it, but I'll show you, uh, you know, uh, during transformation. Uh, but I think that probably was just me not doing it properly uh, 21 step really good, you know standard box the first one like this uh, For the studio series 86 liter class that I purchased uh, Grimlock and slag had a window like a plastic uh, window uh, Sludge and snarl came with an unwindowed box and this one is a you know get your uh, you know booger uh, picker uh, in there, so yeah now, anyway, good looking box, standard stuff. Um, yep, really happy to have that. But before I do the review, I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And now let's roll the intro. Well, I'm running out of space, so let's clear some space for now. You have the backdrop of Autobot City, which this is in that battle. He gets his, uh, well, his head crushed. I think he got smashed by a Devastator, and then after that, uh, he's seen uh, back at full health. So, you know, long rest will do that for you. Um, so, yeah, nice backdrop. And then, you know, the box, which... I've already showed in the intro, nothing new since then, uh, but they do show you that you can stand him if you want to do like that. There was a scene in the cartoon where it was like that, uh, but yeah, there you go. Nice artwork though, really cool. The accessories, and sorry, um, I don't know why, but there, there appears that I dip my hand in oil but I still have some black residue and I apologize for it because I have no clue where I got that from. Uh, and I washed my hands like five times. So sorry you got to uh, live through that. So anyway, the accessory you have, they're separable, you know, so you can fire a rocket. Uh, I like the uh, the gold, it matches the figure and the rest of the Dinobot, except Snarl, uh, who had the yellow stuff that I painted over. So yeah, uh, so it's, uh, I guess, red plastic uh, painted gold. And then you have the gray and black. Uh, you know, it looks good, hollow, but the details, uh, you know, uh, on the side that you're actually gonna show it, uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, you get two of those, and then you have two swords. I think they did announce that this is what this was Grimlock's sword. But, uh, you know, they're red and they're not hollow, so that's a plus. But, uh, well, no, they're not that bendy. They're not from the same material uh, Snarl Sword was. All right, let's uh, bring in the instructions. Standard Hasbro stuff, nothing new. Uh, very well explained, no complaint. Yep, it's really good. Let me get away! And then you get this guy. And I like him. 
I like the way he looks. I have to say though, he feels a little lighter. So if I bring in one of his compadres, let's say Grimlock. Grimlock is way heavier than Swoop. Uh, now, mind you, I don't have all the accessories on Swoop, but I don't think that it's the equivalent. So Grimlock is heavier. And I'm just going to go ahead and guess that uh, he's not the only one who's heavier. So that's a bit of a downside, but it's still good because Swoop was always seen as a smaller Dinobot. Um, even in some episodes, he's like a whole head uh, shorter, him and Snarl, so... I don't mind it too much. Toy Hacks is going to cover all that extra gray because it's very, very gray. So, I, you know, I don't mind that. Uh, I'm definitely getting the Toy Hacks set for him. But he, you know, he looks the part. This is Swoop. This is Blue Swoop. I know a lot of Toy Accurate people will want a Red Swoop. And I do hope that Generation Select will release a Red version of this guy for those people. Because everybody deserves to be happy, right? So, I like him. Uh, nice head. Uh, the I don't know if it's just me, but I find that the fin on top is just a little... It's on soft plastic, right? So it's just a little bendy on... You know, it's going the right side. So that's too bad. Nice eyes. Uh, the blue looks real good. Matches the blue that you have on the, uh, the dino. Nice golden. The Autobot logo doesn't show much. Well... Actually, on the camera, it shows more than what I'm looking at, uh, you know, on in uh, real time. Uh, nice uh, red here. You have the details uh, on the tie with, of course, the traditional claws that you see always, or the talons, I guess, that you would see uh, on every figure. You have the black shin, the black feet. Looks good. Uh, all gray. Nice molded details. Uh, the wings. Uh, or, you know, the folded wings, uh, nice silver. Actually, this is more like dark, uh, like light gray. And then on the outside, you have a more uh, silvery look. If I go like this, uh, open it up, there you go. But we'll show that more in the uh, alt mode. The back cleans up real nice, a bit of hollowness at the bottom of the legs. Nice details for the red here. Yep. I mean, he's not super colored, uh, and it's mostly colored plastic. You have some highlights, like the gold here, that are painted, but everything is pretty much colored plastic, which is not bad. I like him. And then you can either put a gun, gun on him, but, you know, it fits because they cut the, uh, the gun so that it goes, but even then it's not that stable like it it doesn't go super deep uh, but I don't care because he's gonna use this on his wings as they should be so, like that oh, that looks good and then of course the sword will go here he's able to dual wield but when he does that you see the hollowness here for the hand transformation not bad. Metal of good old days, not so good. And now we're going to take a quick look at the articulation. Uh, the head is on a ball joint, so you have a bit of attitude. You have uh, back and forth like this. You have a full rotation, no problem. If you, well, you do have kind of a butterfly because of the transformation. So if you look here, it does open up a little bit. So that's an option if you push back the wing actually if you open the wing and push it back nope it doesn't push us more so the wings will go that far back in robot mode so that means getting your ferris wheel uh, you need to pull the arm out like this a little bit but you do get a full ferris wheel uh, yeah you get this one you have a rotation underneath the shoulder you have your, uh, not double, single bend at the elbow, and then your hand will rotate like this. And of course, because of transformation, you do have a back and forth for it. So, not bad. 
Um, because of the beak, you do not get, or actually because of the wings too, because they hit here in the back, you don't have a full voice rotation. So no merry-go-round on this guy. Uh, I'm guessing if you lift it, maybe you can get it. But then you have to move the wings to get your merry-go-round. Too bad. But well, anyway. Uh, this was supposed to stay... I don't think you're supposed to... You should lift it. Anyway. Uh, transformation will explain that. Uh, you do have, I believe... Oh, that's a tight joint. I hate that because that joint broke on Redgar when I was playing with it the first time. So you do have a very nice Johnny Cage. And then you have a... Oh, it's really tight. You have a rotation underneath. Right here you do have a more than 90 band because of transformation at the knee. But this, they, these are loose and they fall down. And I have to say that the legs are a little loose, like not too much, but you know, sometimes when you play around, he's gonna fall backwards. Uh, and that's mainly because of the feet as well. So the feet, so I showed that, you do have your rocker at the, uh, at the, the, the ankle. So that's cool, but then you have a back and forth, but because of the transformation, um, he does, you know, like they added this piece here for stability, but if he's going to fall back, the feet just, you know, cave in. So it's not an actual good support. If he had a heavier backpack, this wouldn't cut it. So that's one it's not even a nitpick, it's just something that should have been thought of a little better, but, you know, it's not bad. It's not a deal breaker, let's say. Let's see, I'm having issue to make him stand straight, because you have those uh, here. Because you can, you know, have him more forward, or you can have this push down so that he stands a, uh, a bit differently, but, you know, it's all, it's, it's, it's just in how you want to display him. Uh, with the toe sticking out or, you know, not sticking out. So, that's the look I'm going for. But, you know, I might have to push forward a little bit. There you go. It's a really nice figure. I can't wait for the Toy Hanks decals. So, anyway, the only issues are, like I said, the knees are a little loose. The toe don't, the, the feet don't really hold uh, that much. If he was heavier in the back, it wouldn't cut it. Luckily, he doesn't have a big backpack, so that's cool. And there's there's just that fin here, like I said, who's you know going on the right side. So, yeah, it happens. Uh, but I'm really happy. Man, this is a good swoop. Let's do some size comparison, right? We we've already seen we've already blah, blah, I can't speak. We've already seen Grimlock. So let's go ahead and put him alongside uh, other figures, like Voyager size Artfire from Generation Select. Or, as we know him, Canadian Inferno. Deluxe class lift ticket, which I bought for my son for the end of his school year. Honestly, that figure in hand, the colors look really, really good. And Commander Class Studio Series 86 Ultra Magnus, uh, who's way taller. And I think, I don't know, but I, I do believe that he should be a about the same size. So, maybe he is a little overscaled. I freaking love this guy. Okay, and now, because I'm feeling like it, we're gonna do transformation. They not give up! Me swoop do fancy flying now! Swoop transforms in 21 step, and they're not... not really... hard. My son was actually upset, because now he thinks his swoop, the core class one, sucks, because it only transforms in 5 steps. I'm like, yeah, it's, yeah, it's different. So you want to, you know, fold the, uh, the hands in. This hand is really tight when you're trying to get her off. Uh, push here. Like, there's like five, four little, you know, triangles here, like prism. Uh, but push on the outside to pry it out. Because there's no real grip uh, on the hand to pull it out. Like, this thing here doesn't cut it. Uh, but that's just a little tip. Uh, basically, you do that, uh, and then 
there's uh, plugs here and here to go for this pin and this hole. But this, even if you do it right now, you're gonna play with that like five times during transformation. It's gonna unplug, it's gonna, you know, it's just annoying. But that's what you have to do. Now you wanna open the chest like this, pull this out, lift this, put the head in, close it, and then lift the whole thing until you get this piece out, like this, and this is gonna fold down and go between these two things here. And now, uh, yeah, it's supposed to sit like this, but I, you can actually lift it up and do that uh, later. One thing that really kind of upsets me is the fact that this piece and this piece don't really connect well together when you close them. So I had a big gap. Uh, and it seems that the way I have to fix it is to put this one in position first. Don't know why, just seems to work better. And it's not just the chest you're moving, it's the actual wing and arm. So that joint here, you're gonna take it like that and push it forward, kind of like you do with slag and uh, who else? Was it Snarl? You had the similar gimmick. And then you do the same thing on this side. And it's actually pretty tight, so that's good. But then when it gets to here, see the wings, they pop off. But you want to make sure that this is fully pushed in so that See, I'm not, I'm not getting that right now. So, what am I missing? Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. It's pretty, pretty dark, but the joint is not going in completely to get flush with, ah, there you go. Now it's flushed. Ah, see the gap has shortened. Uh, it was a pretty big gap. Uh, the first two times I transformed them. So maybe it's just trying to uh, get him in play. So start with the right side. That's my advice. Uh, plug the wings again. So now you have the head. And then you want to unfold the wings and line up. Because when you unfold them, you know, sometimes they go like this. You know, they're not. So just align them. And then you want to take uh, this piece that's here like that and push it down. There you go. And again, this is removed. And then you want to take this and open this part here so that this comes out. Just a little bit. To give it a an angle. Uh, the legs, uh, fairly easy really, uh, close the heel inside the toes and then push it like that, from this angle, like this, and then you have clip here, it's gonna go in the foot here, so there you go, and it doesn't... I don't know, it holds, but it could be a little tighter. And now the gap is back. So try to close the gap, close this, there you go. So now, and the toes are like this, when he's flying. And then if you want to do the standing position, which I guess I'll do, uh, you just pop that in and push this down. And that's it. This is your standing swoop, which I guess we'll use for the comparison because otherwise I'm not going to be able to you know, display them. You have two holes, one here, one here, uh, to display the missiles. It's up to you how you like it. I like them tight, close to the torso. So there you go. He looks really good. Um, yeah, well, let's uh, wait for the comparison. Uh, in alt mode, the flight mode, Looks good. Uh, I like the uh, the gold beak. Looks awesome. You have the red fin, and of course, it still goes to the right. Nice uh, missiles uh, that you can fire. Whee! So there you go. Uh, I'm gonna guess. Is this blast effect compatible? Let's find out. Okay. Uh, 
this is blast effect compatible so you can have this look uh, but it, there's I don't have anything that plugs here but here how does is that blast effect I don't know this one nah too small or this one nope not going in so you know limited playability with the blast effect but it's something you can do let's go all right so from the top view you have beautiful wingspan uh, nice silver the Autobot logo all the molded details uh, you have the, uh, the backpack you know black and gray with the red and you have all the blue that uh, comes through looks good looks real good uh, the arms again unclipped from the wing I oh, know they're in all right sorry my bad uh, and then from this view underneath cleans up nice I wish my gap would be stable and not open up over time but yeah it's, it happens so hopefully your copy will have a seamless chess underneath I like it and of course the mouth opens oh and that's also going to be blast effect compatible there you go yep you almost forgot me swoop can transform <laughs> That's pretty much it for detail. Let's do some size comparison. So let's stand him up as I guess he should be like this. And let's go with alternator side swipe. So, you know, big car, big bird. Concept art Bumblebee movie Sunstreaker, because it's awesome. And Crocodile Optimus Prime. All right, now let's close this review with the money shot. Soon other Dinobots captured. Well, it's it, it's a lousy money shot because um, I'm running out of room. Uh, and this is the biggest backdrop I have. So, yeah. Anyway, love to have these five guys together. Uh, probably my favorite uh, team from, you know, G1. Uh, the Dinobot represented power and fun. Uh, you know, robot dinosaur. That's the coolest thing that could have happened in the 80s. And they did it brilliantly. And now the Studio Series 86 line just brings it out from the screen and just knocks it out of the park. I have to say, though, that in order of quality, um, I'm going to go with Grimlock first, Slag, Snarl, then Swoop, then Sludge. Just because he's lighter and that gap that I keep having on the chest, that annoys me. Um, but I think the engineering is... Uh, is good actually you know what I might have to put him in fourth place because I have to paint him you know the head and the legs to make him match with the uh, or almost match with the yellow uh, the gold on the others so a bit of an annoyance um, so yeah maybe that's number four but sludge uh, definitely the weakest link even though it's a great mold I like it uh, the hollow nest underneath it's just it's it's really bad so anyway, guys, that's going to be the review for today. I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, I did. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. Love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.